Next guest, he works for Operation Barbecue Relief. Now, that's an organization that delivers meals to people displaced by natural disasters. This group has served nearly, what, 500,000 meals wow. to victims of Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma. David Marks is here. He's the chief marketing officer at Operation Barbecue Relief, and you're a good man. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for having me here. Oh, sure. Look, we, we want to give publicity to people who are doing such good work during this crisis. Mm -hmm. You actually come from Famous Dave's, don't you? I, I'm a franchisee in the Philadelphia area, absolutely. Now, have I got this right? 500,000 meals. It's mind-boggling. 500,000 yes. meals between uh, the two hurricanes, and we had... Uh, a significant amount of volunteers, 23 different states, well over 2,000 volunteers coming to help, wow. paying their own way, coming to help us put pork in the smoker. That is and, terrific. Who paid for the food? You know, we have some amazing, amazing companies that are supporting us. Companies like Seaboard Prairie Fresh, yep. uh, they, they donated hundreds of thousands of pounds of pork, Butterball, hundreds of thousands of pounds of turkeys. Uh, just so many different organizations step up. Places like uh, Sunbelt Rentals, Blue Rhino with propane, they just do some amazing things to allow us to do what we do. See, we like to feature this extraordinary volunteer effort that took care of people who'd suffered with Harvey and Irma, and you're one of them. Now, FedEx, did they come, did they flew the food and the meals and you guys down there? They, they came to our rescue. We had some pilots with small planes that were taking a couple hundred meals at a time, and we have a volunteer by the name of Scott Guy from FedEx who's a mechanic, and he went to his company and said, we need help. And FedEx has a program called FedEx Cares, and within 18 hours, we had FedEx committed to helping us airlift 10,000 meals a day to the Keys. That's right. Remarkable. It's incredible. Now, as you know, the island of Puerto Rico has been utterly devastated. They've got no power, no water, running out of food. Can you do anything on Puerto Rico with the same kind of effort that you did in Texas and Florida? So this is a different dynamic. Yeah. Puerto Rico cannot handle another human being on that island right now. They can't care for those people, but they need the meals desperately. So we're currently working to set up some air sites where we can be near airports and airlift food to Puerto Rico without putting any humans on that island. We can put a lot of food on that island. Okay. Now, Operation Barbecue Relief, did that exist before Harvey and Irma? Yes, sir. We've been around for six and a half years. We okay. came out of uh, the relief effort efforts in Joplin, Missouri. Uh, from a hurricane, from a tornado there, and since then we've served 1.7 million meals. We have uh, just an incredible effort between our volunteers and our corporate sponsors. And none of this was government money. This is all private enterprise money and volunteers, FedEx, and all the rest of them who came together to do Absolutely. This. Well, look, sir, I thought that was a fantastic effort. That's a great thing in America. It makes me proud to be an American. It really does. We are a great country. You're all right, too, David Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you for being here, sir. Thank you. Much obliged. Thank you.